What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. I got a great question. Since it's one day closer to the Call of Duty multiplayer reveal of infinite warfare, who's actually buying this game pre multiplayer reveal and I'm talking about buying this game not because COD 4 comes with it I'm talking about just buying this game for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare please leave it in the comments why you are and why you aren't right now you know and if you are you know for cod 4 obviously leave that in the comments also to be honest if cod 4 wasn't in the game i mean wasn't coming with it i would literally really literally really i would really be thinking about not buying the game because it's a lot of games on the PC that are coming out, that are out, that are keeping me occupied right now. This patch for Daisy is a little fucked up. Got a lot of hackers and people can do a lot of shit to fuck up your gameplay. But I'm sure the next patch will be better and the sound will be much better. It's a game called Escape from Tarkov that's coming out real soon. It's the similar stuff to Daisy, like you go loot. Um, the world is fucked up, zombies and all that. Apocalypse, basically. Uh, it's a game called Rust that Moho and Barberry swears by that's good. And I actually bought it for like six bucks. I didn't activate it yet, but you know. PC gaming is just the way for me to go right now because I honestly buy console for about three games, to be honest. Uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, NBA 2K, and that's it. Like, I don't have anything else. I have like the Game of Thrones telltale thing and that's only because of Game of Thrones, you know, that's why I bought it. But honestly, console gaming just isn't, you know, it, I, it doesn't have more games. I would, I would say it has better quality of the AAA games because you know, it's less hackers. That's the only thing about console is less hackers because PC, you could just, you know, you're on the PC, so it's easier to create a code to hack the PC. Like console, you have to do a little more. But I don't know that much about hacking. That's all I know is it's more hackers on PC than it is on console. But that's besides the point. Uh, Battlefield 1 will be another game that I will be playing that I'm buying for the regular game. You know, Battlefield 1 doesn't have to come out with Battlefield 3, you know, for people to actually buy the game. You know what I mean? Um, but if, like I was saying, if this game was coming out by itself, solo this will be the only year that i really have to think about buying the game because advanced warfare when that was coming out i'm like boost jumping fuck wow ah, whatever but i was still in my little cod phase that i was like uh, i'm still gonna buy it just to you know just to see what's up with it you know see if it comes out good came out trash then Black Ops 3, I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy it. It can't be worse than Advanced Warfare. 
Which I was right on that. Of course, it can't. Nothing could be worse with Advanced Warfare. <laughs> Advanced Warfare was such a bad game. But I, I just, it, that just came to my reality that just the boost jumping and all that shit is just hundred percent not for me. It just isn't. And people are gonna say, "Oh, you're just not good at the game." They, they've been saying that for years. When I say, you know, COD isn't good and it's just trash, I don't like this COD. They've been saying, you're just not good at the game, but you can... Then I tell them, check my stats, and then they realize that my stats are, you know, 90% of the time my stats are better than theirs. And the people who my stats aren't better than theirs, they're just freaks of nature who are just good at the game. Like, you know what I mean? Some... 15 year old kid that doesn't have anything to do but play the game you know i'm a working dude i go to work i don't have time to play the game all the time like right now if i play call of duty it's like call of duty five days go by call of duty eight days go by call of duty like that like i don't even care to play the game and then Black Ops 3, I don't know when the last time I logged on to that game, but I'm just saying Call of Duty in general. But uh, that was just a nice ramble that I went on. I want to know who's buying Infinite Warfare for Infinite Warfare. If this game was coming out solo, I would probably not buy it, to be honest. This was the first year I probably would 100% not buy the game pre multiplayer reveal. If I look at the reveal and it's 90% boots on the ground and some areas you float like in space, you know, some areas of the map, maybe I'll buy it for the game. But if I buy it, it's for COD 4. I'm out. Jive Turkey.